Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone today? I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's having a great Thursday. Uh, so I decided today that uh, I wanted to go back to uh, Yes, Your Grace. Uh, I've been thinking about it a lot, and uh, I think we're in like a really good part of the game. Uh, when we last left off, we uh, basically had to arrange a marriage uh, with our oldest daughter uh, to a foreign uh, power, basically, because uh, there's this big, giant, looming, invading force that's uh, basically invading our lands, and we don't have nearly enough soldiers to like keep ourselves safe. Uh, when we talked to uh, our wife, we found out that uh, we made some kind of promise to... Uh, to these uh, barbarian guy that we would give our our oldest daughter to him uh, in marriage basically to like spare our lives uh, it sounds like we were kind of coerced at knife point and uh, so now he sent us a letter that he's now the king of Redovia and uh, he's coming to get what was promised so it's all very ominous and then after preparing uh, for a month for this royal wedding and spending all this money we actually get to the wedding and uh, as we're doing one of our uh, toasts, uh, the father of basically my daughter's uh, new husband, so the king, uh, gets poisoned and dies right in front of everyone. And then we're blamed for it. And uh, next thing I know, uh, my daughter and his son just leave the castle. So they're gone in another, uh, uh, you know, he took her back to his country. And we have to prepare for a trial, basically, to uh, try to figure out who did it, prove our innocence, and kind of win back our alliance uh, with his son. Because uh, he has about 3,000 soldiers we need uh, to defend against uh, the incoming attack, basically. So I'm going to go get back into it. I think we left off. That's about where we left off. Uh, we basically have to try and collect as much evidence as we can and do the royal trial and see if we can prove ourselves innocent. The only thing I was able to find was a dragon's tooth. Or I'm assuming it's a dragon's tooth. I don't know what tooth it is. Um, but when I was watching back to the footage from uh, the previous stream, it looks like Rodovia has a monster or a beast with like giant teeth as their, uh, as their banner. So I'm assuming that they must have been the ones who snuck into the wedding and poisoned the other king because they want us to be weak so they can attack. Uh, but I have to do more investigating. I think my advisor said it would be a good idea to get like a witch on uh, a witch on my council, and also maybe find a hunter to see if he could identify the beast. Um, so that's what I'm doing so far. All right, so I'm gonna log us back in. Let's see where we're at. Turn the music back on. Continue. Let's see where we're at. Oh yeah, now I have to basically supply and uh, keep my army fed too. Uh, army needs food and supplies to stay maintained and ready for battle. The bigger the army you have, the more supplies it will cost to maintain it. Uh, to pay the army upkeep, simply click on pay button. You will see the cost added to the summary below. If you don't pay the army upkeep costs, you will lose some soldiers. All right, well, we don't want that to happen. So it looks like at my current army, it only costs four grain. So that's no big deal. So let's uh, let's pay that. Stan took nine. Got a couple things for my businesses. Looks like... I mean, we're not doing too terrible for gold and uh, grain. We have 160 soldiers. Most of that's coming from Lady Ada, who uh, we caught the guy who uh, swindled her, so she, like, swore fealty to me. Uh, looks like I have a couple new upgrades. Seven additional locations to explore on the map. Ten army per week. Uh, gained five boost to contentment. Uh, general will be available during the battle. Well, I definitely want to do that, but I want to kind of hold on to my money for right now. And then if I don't pay Stan, he's not available, so I'm going to pay Stan this week. Let's see. Let's get in there. Alright, week 11. Let's see. Okay, I see my daughter's there, Petro. Lurs. What do you want, Lurs? You have called for me, Your Grace? Oh, yes. Okay, so Lur Lurs, 
Oh yeah, and here you guys can see in the chat. So this is the large tooth that I found when uh, I was looking around. Basically, the only person who had any kind of information was the the guard, the uh, prison guard. He said that he saw someone lurking around the cellar, but he wasn't able to identify who it was. But he did find this tooth and he gave it to me. Uh, but Lurs, I need to do a trade partnership basically with him and one of the other lords because he stopped trading spices. And if I'm able to do that, another lord will swear his fealty to me and I'll be able to get some more troops. Uh, so let's see. I'm here about spices. I've heard that you have stopped supplying Bronco with some resources. Spices, I believe. I suspect you've been speaking to Etten. He trades my spices with uh, Prassus to get fortune dabs. Some call it Dippity Dabu. But it's most commonly known by the name of Oracle Dust. I've heard about Rodovia. I can help if you aid me in return. Yeah, what's Oracle Dust? Oracle Dust? It has medicinal uses, of course, but also recreational. It's highly addictive. It's particularly popular amongst priests and the like. Something about spiritual enlightenment. Makes a lot of coin, but ultimately costs people's lives. I want no part in this. Shame I'm losing sales, though. Crassus. That's far away. Uh, okay, I've heard enough. Your Grace, I urge you to help me uh, curtail Ent's plans. Do not buy any oracle dust. And if you hear of anyone trying to sell dust, don't hesitate to put them in the dungeon. If anything suspicious happens, make sure I'm the first to know. If you do the right thing here, be sure that my... If you do the right thing here, be sure that my army will stand by your side when the war comes. 200 soldiers. I can also help with six supplies. I heard Etten is selling dust near Koski. The first step in the right direction would be to stop their deliveries. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Ent first, because I don't know who to believe. I will see what Lord Etten has to say about this first. Just don't let that buffoon get under your skin, Your Grace. Da -da -da. Dust sales in Koski, Etten's dust dealers, something suspicious. Yeah, dust dealers. If a dealer ever comes through your doors, please imprison them immediately. This will discourage Etten's dealings, uh, dealers from selling. Okay. If something suspicious happens, make sure to let me know first. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, do you know anything about this animal tooth? Found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? It looks like a healthy animal. No holes or chips. I'm not sure what animal it could have come from. I'm not much of an expert on beasts. Okay, that's all for now. As you wish, Your Grace. Uh, let's talk to Audrey. We should invite Lord Etten, Your Grace. Make sure what Lord is saying is true before we decline Etten's alliance. You can find Etten on the Allies panel. He should be here next week if we send a pigeon immediately. Okay, let's do that. Uh, allies. Uh, so, this guy over here was King Talus. You can see he has a, a skull underneath him because he's dead. He drank some poison wine, circa Game of Thrones. King Ivo is who my daughter is married to, and he has this red arrow on his... Uh, on his page. So that means he's uh, hostile with me. He thinks I'm the one who killed his father. And then the two people I'm court courting currently are as, uh, Lord Etten and Lurs who aren't working together. Seems like they're in competition. So I need to invite Etten to uh, see if what L Lurs is saying is uh, true or not. Got him a pigeon. Uh, let's see. What's going on, Pietro? You keep coming here and you keep acting crazy. I don't know what's, what's the deal with Pietro. I am sorry for what I said last time, Your Grace. I cannot think straight sometimes. Thing is, someone is after me. But how can I find out who it is? I don't have a clue. If I tell anyone that I know, or that I know, then they will know, and that is worse, right? Yeah, I think we've both had enough of this in prison. Okay, that seems a little harsh. Yeah, how can I help you? How can I help you if you won't tell me exactly what's happening? Your Grace, you don't understand. Tell me what you did to make someone want to come after you. I I just, I saw a man, and no, that's not. I don't know. I can't tell you, Your Grace. What if this person is listening? Oh, my goodness. Like, should I imprison him for his own safety? Did I say you can just leave? Like, if he has someone after him? Ugh, I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to let him leave one more time. Do not waste my time if you can't come up with a way for me to help you. 
Fine, Your Grace. I really didn't mean to upset you. I am just so scared. Don't come here again. Oh, well, I didn't want to say that. Oh, man. Uh, let's talk to my Sidani, my youngest daughter. Uh, also, Sidani uh, found a pet slug that somehow ended up being part of the wedding dinner and has been eaten by the royals. I don't know how that happened. So that also happened during the wedding. Uh, your Grace. I hate that Lorsulia has left already. She looked very pretty in her dress. She would look beautiful in any dress. I already miss her father. When I have a wedding, can I wear the same dress? Uh, of course you can. Mother and Lorsulia sent a letter and, uh, and that she's fine. Have you already replied to her? Have you asked about Dusty? Uh, I haven't asked her about Dusty yet, which is her cat. Can you please ask Lorsulia about the cat father? Where does he sleep? What does he eat? Is he alive even? Uh, uh, I'll ask her about Dusty. Uh, thank you, Father. Okay. My middle child, Asalia. Father, you promised to practice sword fighting with me, remember? Maybe we could try later today? Please? Of course, I'll see you in the gardens once I'm done in here. Yep, for sure. Then we have a peasant. Your Grace, men with monsters on their banners came ravaging our village, so... Uh, the men with monsters on their banner, I think, is the Rodovians, who are the people who are invading. Uh, they set our barn on fire. It wasn't long before the flames spread to other buildings. The village is still burning. Most of our supplies are already lost. Please, send us some help. Uh, send a general for two weeks. Here are the supplies. I could just send supplies, but if they're under attack, they really need uh, a general. I'm going to send my general. Uh, his men will help you put the put out the fires and get back to work again. Goodbye. This won't give us back all we've lost, but I suppose we could use some of that kind of help. Right. So let's go do sword fighting with our daughter. I don't want to forget that. So let's go this way. Head to the gardens. Uh, it's paving stone. Looks like it was moved. If I could get something sharp and thin to lift uh, to lift it, a sword would be too thick. It needs to be something smaller. Huh. So it looks like there's like a hiding spot in the gardens. Uh, let's sword fight with her. Yes, father? Uh, how was your practice? Are you ready? Hey, that was good. I know. Ouch. Too slow. Have you heard about Sidani? What happened? I told her she should find a pet that can actually do something besides being disgusting. She has been uh, leaving bait in the garden since then. Nothing has been showing up, so I took one of the stuffed skunks from the hall and put it behind the bush. In the evening, I told her something took her bait. When she saw a huge skunk half her size, she panicked. She grabbed my sword, she could barely lift it. It was hilarious, she kept hitting that poor skunk, but it wouldn't budge. Poor Sidani. She wouldn't hurt an animal. Mother heard her scream, she came and ruined everything. Sidani actually cried when she found out this thing was stuffed. Oh, Asalia. Come on, father, you have to admit, this is funny. Only a little bit. I can't believe she would attack a skunk. <laughs> She thinks she can fight because she keeps seeing you running around with your sword. I know, she keeps pestering me to fight her. We should end it here. I better check on Sidani. I also want to see what is under this uh, paving stone. It could be a clue that will help us in the trial. Maybe I need like a dagger or something? I'd still love to sit here and knit. The chambers. Anything else I can click on? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so Sidani usually is in the, uh, where I put all my evidence. In the, uh, where I have all my books and everything. In the, uh, yeah, in the council chamber. So this little table here is where I can, like, present and put all my evidence. Uh, but so far all I have is this tooth. I need to find an expert and question suspects. 
Looks like there's at least two other things of evidence I could find. So Donnie. Your Grace. Uh, yeah, do you want to talk about the skunk? Azalea told me what happened. Well, I just got scared and I didn't know what else to do. It was dark out there and the eyes were shiny. I was worried you'd be mad at me for bringing monsters to the castle, so I just took Azalea's sword. I am sorry I ruined your stuffed animal, Father. I hope you forgive me. Uh, of course. It was an old stuffed skunk. I was going to get rid of it anyways. You were very brave, but I don't want you running around with that sword again, alright? Fine, I won't. Alright, see you later. Books. Oop, wait, go back. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Bought it on the market. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but it looks nice. Anything that I can click on? These antlers came from the biggest deer in Davern. So what? It's a tapestry. Maybe I can go to, like, the kitchen? Castle wall. Okay, this is usually where my general Stan hangs out, but I, uh, I sent him away to help with the fires. It's the fields, the mountains. Okay, nothing I can click on there. And the gate's still old. I want to get that reinforced before the uh, enemy gets here. Garden, council. Let's go to the dungeon. How can I help your grace? Just looking around. Look like there's much I can click on here. Nope. Go see what my wife's doing. I don't have a lead yet, I just have the tooth. Okay. We can go ahead and advance the week then. Unless I can find something to get that crack open. Here, door, paintings, dresser, bed. Yeah, it doesn't look like I think I went everywhere I can go. Throne room, gardens. Yeah, okay, we can advance. Advance the week. Alright, so my army took four grain. Stan's working. Got 12 from taxes. Seven. Okay, so I don't have to pay him till he gets back. Uh, unlock seven additional locations to explore on the map. Training grounds. Gain 10 army a week. I probably want to get the training grounds as soon as possible. Just so I can uh, start building up my army. You know, even if I can't make alliances, just getting people equipped. Um, so I'm going to buy the training grounds. Pay for that. That'll be good. Alright, what's up, Audrey? Grace, how's our investigation going? Uh, I found this animal tooth, but I don't know how it ended up in our castle. I have prepared a table for you in the council chamber where you can inspect the items. We should invite and question the lords. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to learn something from them. Remember that they might not always tell you the truth, Your Grace. And while we're inviting them, we should try to form alliances, too. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's talk to Lord Etten. How may I be of service, Your Grace? Uh, I know why you need spices. I have heard what you need those spices for. Your Grace, I can explain. Oracle dust is far from dangerous. As far as I've been told, it has medical, uh, medicinal use more than anything else. It's just an easy way to make some gold. It doesn't matter if you sell dust or not, it's not going to get out to people anyway. If we're the ones selling it, then at least we're the ones profiting. You just pass it on, don't trouble yourself with the people who use it. In fact, I could really use your help in this operation. And in return, I'll always be at your service. I have a location near Bell Toys that has some problems with the locals. Send an agent its way and maybe he could give us a hand. Oh, hey Vivid. I just saw you. How's it going? Yeah, this is, uh, Yes, Your Grace. It's, uh, it's a Steam game. And, uh, it's super fun. It kind of reminds me of, uh, 
I don't know if you've played any of like the Fable games, but the third Fable game, uh, you're actually in the position of the king and you get to like make choices and like kind of build your town and like shape things. And uh, it kind of has that feel to it. Like you have, uh, you have to manage your gold, you have to manage your grain, how many soldiers you have, uh, happiness is on the right. And then there's also this like murder subplot going on where I'm trying to get evidence over here on the side for uh, a royal trial. Because the uh, the king that my uh, my daughter married, basically his father, was murdered at the wedding, and they blamed us. So now we're like also trying to figure out who actually murdered the king. So like you know we don't go to war with another nation over something we didn't do. Uh, so it's pretty interesting so far. I'm really liking it. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of feels like uh, Fable Three, Fable Three to me. Uh, so this guy. He came to me, he said that uh, a lord was, you know, not trading spices with him. And I called the lord to my castle and he's like, yeah, I'm not giving him spices because he's just making drugs and selling drugs to people to make money. So I might be kicking this guy out of my castle and going with the other guy because I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's send an agent its way and maybe he could give us a hand. Okay. Also, if anything out of the ordinary happens, then make sure I'm the first to know. We need to keep an eye on other sellers. If anyone comes selling, make sure to buy a pack or two. I'll be able to double your earnings. If you do right by me, I will be sure to do right by you. I will give you my men, gold, and supplies. Yeah, I'm not going to help you. I won't help. Never say never. Wait, you didn't say never. Regardless, you might still change your mind. Look, I will throw in some something extra for your efforts. Alongside 230 men, I will throw in my hounds. They're deadly and precise. The Redovians won't know what hit them. Oh, and uh, I think I just remembered something about the night Talus died. So Talus was the, the king that was murdered at the wedding. I'd had a fair bit to drink at this stage, so everything was kind of blurry. But I did see someone in the gardens that night when I was watering the flowers. Okay, a.k.a. going to the bathroom because he had too much wine to drink. <laughs> if you haven't already, you might want to poke around in there. So, you're welcome, Your Grace. Do uh, you know anything about this animal tooth before I send you away? I have found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? Uh, what is an animal tooth doing in your wine cellar? It looks like someone has lost it. I'm trying to find its owner. I don't know, Eric. Probably someone who's interested in animals or creatures, shall I say? Uh, all right, that'll be our. Let me take your leave. Uh oh, looks like my daughter found another pet. All right, Audrey, what's up? Etten's offer is very generous, Your Grace. We could certainly use his hounds and army in the battle, but as promise or er, but as promising as trading uh, dust sounds, it could cause problems later. If we decide to help Etten, we can be sure that Lurz will cancel his offer uh, of an army. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't think we should let dust sails in Davern. Gods knows uh, what havoc this substance will cause in the future. Better not risk it. I don't want people coming to me crying that they've lost family members to uh, to this poison. Of course, Your Grace. In that case, we should aid Lurz in stopping his, this nasty business. Send a general to Kaski as soon as possible to shut down that trading site he was talking about. And if we ever come across anyone wanting to sell dust, we should imprison them for a while just to discourage fruit juice sales. Lurz will be happy to hear this, so after we have done what he asked for, we should invite him over. Okay, that makes sense. I think I get my general back next week once he puts out the fires. Zidani, what is that? Is this the new pet you've been hiding, Pumpkin? Your Grace, may I introduce to you the Stabber? Oh no, the Hedgehog. The Stabber? Why the Stabber? Well, I wanted to name him Hanson, but that name is already taken. The other option was to call him Squisher, but it didn't seem like that would scare off enemies. Underneath, he has a velvet yummy tummy you wish you could just stroke and squish all day. Ah, uh, but on top. On top is a whole different story. On top, he is a scary, stiff stabber. Oh my god. You can keep him, I guess. He's a hedgehog. Very well. Keep the stabber close to you, but don't lose him, and don't stab yourself. It's not the stabber. It's the stabber. The stabber is on a mission, and he is about to stab someone. 
No, man, I'm worried about my daughter. She's a little cuckoo. <laughs> uh, I think she might need some... Uh, I think she needs another friend. <laughs> oh, well, well, I mean, her past pet was a slug, so I'm just glad she's got something that she can actually hold. Even if it is, you know, spiky on top. Uh, at least she will be occupied. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Alright, peasant, what's up? Your grace, my village has been raided by bandits. These scum are fiercer than any others. There have been casualties. They have killed an entire family. We are counting on your help from your general, your grace. My general is busy right now. Oh my god. Ugh, we should keep an eye on these bandits. Make sure Rodovians are not creating further posts. If there are locals, we should show them that there is no place for such behavior. I don't... I don't have my general till next week, so there's no way I can help right now. I can't help everyone. Uh, ready your pitchforks and keep your eyes open. Maybe they won't show up again. We would feel safer with the royal army at our side, but I understand. I need to get another general ASAP. He's like... One general just doesn't cut it for how much is going on in the kingdom. Uh, let me send a pigeon out before I forget. Uh, allies. So, Lurz will give me 200 soldiers, but I have to destroy the drug trading post and um, imprison anyone who's selling dust. So, in the meantime, why don't I send an invite to Lady Lena and see what she wants. Alright, let's see. I definitely, I found the thing he was talking about in the gardens. But I don't know how to move the crack in the stone. Can I pick this up? A big pointy animal tooth. We don't have big creatures around the castle. I need to get this crack open to figure out what's hidden here. Could be like an empty poison vial or something. Yes, father? No voice lines, okay. Oh, my wife wants to say something. Alright, wifey, what's up? Darling. Uh, yeah, Lord Etten visited me. Turns out he is trading oracle dusk and wants my help with it. Lord Lors doesn't approve of the business. He thinks it's bad for people. Both of the Lors have promised to lend us their armies if we help them. But really, I don't know what to think about it. Well, do you really think that selling dust is bad for people? Uh, it's not widely used yet. It does have side effects. The stuff sells like crazy. Well, it does have side effects. If more people start using it with no regulation, we could have problems. We don't have enough resources or doctors to deal with things uh, going wrong. But then again, it might also be that nothing bad happens. Hmm, what do you think? I mean, I hear God's servants use it, so I'm sure it's fine. After the war with Rodovia, if things start going wrong, we can always stop, support and edit, uh, stop supporting Etten. Thank you, sweetheart. I guess it's worth thinking about. It's fine, dear. Let me know if you need to discuss anything else. Uh, I'll see you later. We're not selling dust. This is a no-dust kingdom. I'm outlawing dust. I don't need people tripping out and dying while we're getting attacked by another nation. No dust. Uh, I want to see... I want to see her pet. To Donnie. Let's see if I can pet him. Do you mind if I pet him? Not at all. Just don't. Ow. Ouch. Stab yourself. <laughs> she always picks these weird pets. Like, she had a slug as a pet. Now she has a hedgehog that I can't pet. She definitely has some weird pets. So I wonder if I'm supposed to be inviting a hunter to help me identify this tooth. I think once my general gets back, uh, I'm going to try and invite a lord that maybe is a hunter. And I also need to find something sharp to get that uh, stone opened. Uh, let's go into the throne room. Audrey, do you have anything to say? That's all for now. Alright, let's advance. Okay, so my army got a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. 
So because I upgraded my training ground, so uh, it's up here on the left. These are my upgrades, like where you see Carnival, Prepare General. Uh, let's see. So that means I get 10 army uh, every week I advance. So now we're up to 180 troops. And now that my army's bigger, I have to pay 5 grain instead of 4, and that's going to keep going up. Uh, Stan wants his 9 gold because he's back from his job. I've made 6, 17 gold in taxes. Okay, happiness is at 21. Okay. So I can gain 5 boost to contentment, but it's a one-time use, so I don't want to use that yet. General will be available during the battle. I'll use that eventually, but I don't want to do it right now. And I can upgrade my stables to have more stuff available on the map, but when my general's busy, I can't investigate stuff on the map, so I'm going to hold off on these upgrades. So, Vivid, do you want to be on my uh, my Council of Kings, or you want to be on the High Council? Want to be Lord of Coin, or uh, Lord of Love, what was late uh, Littlefinger? Lord of Information? We can get you a pin made and everything, right? So you can wear it on your shirt. Make it official in the uh, in the castle and in the country of Davern. <laughs> we can. Would you like to join our alliance against Rodovia? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, looks like uh, someone sent me a pigeon. Let's start with that. Oh, this is from my daughter. Okay, so she's in another country with uh, the son of the guy who got killed at the mur uh, at the uh, wedding where he was murdered. Uh, Dear Father, King Ivo greatly mourns the loss of his father. The funeral took place as soon as we arrived in Atana. Talus is sorely missed amongst the lords and advisors. Together with King Ivo, we prayed for justice for his father. They say he's in a better place now. The journey home helped King Ivo clear his head, and he realizes that as King of Davern, you didn't have anything to do with poisoning his father. Oh, well that's nice. Because uh, he was pretty pissed off at me at the wedding, I'm not going to lie. Uh, although... <laughs> <laughs> well, so are you gonna sell some uh, dust, Vivid? Are you gonna make some extra money selling Oracle dust? Gonna get your get your uh, your royal subjects stoned out of their mind? I mean, you know, it might work if you had more gold. You could buy an army, get a mercenary army. Maybe it would help. Uh, adult, although you and King Ivo didn't part in the friendliest manner. King Ivo wishes to apologize for his words, but says that his advisors forced him to stand by his decision. All right, so his advisors might have had something to do with it. Uh, King Ivo wishes to send you support, as his father promised, but his hands are tied until the royal tri trial is concluded. He counts on your quick investigation into the murder, which he believes will prove your innocence. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Just a little bit on the side. Oh, man. I mean, it might not be that bad, but... Based on what that guy was saying, people were, like, tripping out of their mind. And I, I I don't need people tripping out of their minds when we're getting attacked right now. Like, my money's not great, but it's not so bad that I feel like I have to sell it, so. Uh, King Ivo, I still can't get used to that. I suppose no one imagined Ivo taking the throne so soon. It's good that at least he knows I didn't poison Talus. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, we still need to convince his advisors and lords. They will need to see the murderer before they support sending their whole army to help Davern. We will find the one responsible, I'm sure. Let's ask Lorsulia something else. Alright, well, my youngest daughter wanted me to ask her about her cat, so let's ask her about Dusty. Ask her about the cat. Tell her Sidani keeps pestering me. Very well, Your Grace, I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply within a couple of weeks. And it looks like we've got Lady Lena. Pietro's back. If Pietro freaks out on me one more time, I'm locking him up. It's basically going to be like a mental health evaluation. We need to figure out who's trying to kill him. See if I can help him. And then uh, once I'm able to help him, I think I'll let him out of prison, basically. I have my daughter and my general's back. Let's see what my general says. Uh, we have helped the villagers rebuild their homes and the barn, Your Grace. Okay. Thanks, Stan. Lady Lena. 
What a pleasure. Welcome to Davern. Your dress is lovely. Um, can you give me soldiers, please? Like, what can we do? A pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. And my biggest condolences about Talus, although I didn't like him at all. Anyway, Lurz has explained your situation to me. I believe I can help. For something in return, of course. You see, you have something I want to give to my son. Hmm. Someone, actually. I'm not giving you my daughter. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 I'm not bargaining another daughter into marriage for 300 troops like she's a cow. It ain't happening. I believe this would greatly strengthen our relationship for years to come, and as a start, I would lend you my army. 300 fully equipped and trained soldiers, all ready to stand against Rodovia. And along with my men, 4 gold and 5 supply. So what do you say? Uh, no, I'm not selling my daughters. Uh, let me think about it, because it's a little bit more cordial, but really, I'm not agreeing to that. I'll need some time to think this through. Oh, of course, darling. Take as much time as you'd like. Just remember that Rodovia won't be waiting for you to get ready. <laughs> yeah, I cannot stand that lady. I'm not I'm not arranging that. <laughs> God, she was so wicked. I don't like her at all. Alright, Pietro, what's up? Hey you! You have really gone overboard this time. I know it was you. Now everything is clear. I stayed in the woods waiting for three weeks, but now I know. Uh, I didn't do anything. Calm down. I, I'm going to put him in prison just because I think he needs some help. I was like, you'll spend some time in our dungeons. I knew it. I knew it was you. I just don't want... I just don't know what you would want from me. I don't want anything from you. The guard near the exit will take care of you. I will come and see you later. What do I do? What do I do? I gotta get Pietro some help. He's really losing his mind. Alright, what's up, Azalea? Uh, what are you doing here with this brush? Mother made me sweep all the corridors. Why? What did you do this time? Nothing. Uh, tell me what you did. Nothing, I swear. Your mother will tell me what you did if you won't. I had better start sweeping before she finds me. Seems a little suspicious. Can I talk to her again? Ugh, I will never finish here. No, she's just gonna stay over there. Okay. Ooh, we have a peasant, but she's all nice and dressed up in like green, like a green floral dress. Let's see what she wants. My name is Olivia, your grace. I come from the forest. I am the leader of the Cult of Trees in the Western Woods. I know I am probably not welcome here, but you are my last hope, Your Grace. I have asked all the neighboring villages for help, but they despise my god. In the middle of the forest, we have a sacred oak, and because of all the recent rains, the area around it uh, has flooded. A stream of water keeps running all over its roots. We have tried stopping the water, but we don't have the appropriate tools. Our people need this tree to pray to, uh, pray to Your Grace. Without it, they are depressed and scared. I can't bear to see them so helpless. Please help us, Your Grace. A worshipping oak? I'll send a general, take this gold, and pay someone to help you. A worshipping oak? Are you praying to a tree? Yes, Your Grace. It's the tree of the God of Thunder. It's the tree of Thor. A symbol of love and life filled with healing powers. Nothing bad can happen to this tree, Your Grace. Please, I beg you. Ugh. What do we think, Vivid? What do we think? Do we feel in Thor? Do we think Thor's worth our general or 12 gold? Do you think he's worth half of our treasury? To save the, the, three, the tree of Thor? Yeah, you think so? What do you think, the general? You think Stan can do it? I don't know if I want to give the gold away, because we don't have that much gold. Save the trees, okay. I'll send a general. Uh, he will organize someone to help you dig a ditch for the water to drain. He can find us in the western woodland, Your Grace. I'll send my dearest prayers for you, Your Grace. Thank you. You're welcome. Hell yeah! We got two happiness for that. 
and maybe the trees in Lord of the Rings, you know, they'll they'll come alive and they'll help us in the final battle. It'll be wonderful. We'll have Thor there. You know, maybe his hammer will come out of the tree. Who knows what will happen? So I feel like that'll help us out later. All right, what you want, peasant? Your grace, a traveling merchant here. If you're selling dust, you're going right to prison. I'm selling rather exclusive wares, if you're interested. Silk, perfumes, books, and decorations. Whatever your royal soul might desire. <laughs> That's, yeah. Let's, ho let's hope that the trees will aid us in the coming battle. Uh, something tells me you might be interested in far more delicate merchandise, though. Wink, wink, wink. I have a knack for these things, am I right? Uh, tell me more. I'm listening. Oh, how fantastic. You see, I have something very precious here. Satisfaction for the most delusion pleasure seekers. Some say it's a perfect cure for what you don't feel particularly inspired. Others may use it purely for recreation. It's very good generally if you're going through a bad spell, your grace. I have one pack of dust for just seven gold pieces. If you're tempted to grab another sack, I might throw it in for only five gold. That would be two whole packs for only twelve gold. Now, if you're if that's not a deal worthy of your royal bottom, then I don't know what is. <sighs> okay, listen. I just signed a law. We're not selling dust. And then you come into my throne room and then try to sell me dust. I mean, my hands feel tied in this situation. <sighs> I mean, I have to throw... I mean, okay, so... I gotta put him in jail too, don't I? There's no other way. <sighs> I definitely don't want to buy any. For all I know, I could, you know, take a, take a shot of this mysterious dust and have a heart attack and be dead. That ain't gonna do anyone any good. I'm also trying to, you know, figure out a murder. So I can't have time to be, you know, tripping. Tripping on fairy dust. I think I have another dungeon room. I know I sent one Pietro in one. I think I upgraded. I'm going to try and put him in the dungeon. Uh, oh, that's right. Vivid, you're right. Uh, uh, what's his face? Not Lures. Uh, Etten. Lord Etten said that he would buy dust off of me. But I don't want to help Lord Etten. Lord Etten's kind of a dick. I think I want to help the uh, guy who's like busting up the uh, busting up the drug dealers. But I think if I arrest this guy and take out that uh, outpost, I think I can get the other guy to join up with me. I'm going to put this guy in the dungeon for a little bit. I won't allow, allow Oracle Dust in Davern. Your grace, but there's nothing wrong with selling a few packs of sugar dust. What other pleasures were you thinking about? Oracle Dust? I've never heard of it. How dare you lie to your king? Oh my god, is this guy literally just selling sugar? My guards will take care of you at the exit. Alright, well, if he's literally just selling sugar, I'm going to go to the dungeons and let him out, because I thought he was selling something else. <laughs> Ugh, we're hard on drugs here. We don't we don't like the hard stuff. We only help the trees. It has to come from our great god, the god of thunder, the loving healing tree of Thor. It's the only drugs we accept. It comes from that tree. Alright, I need to go visit those guys ASAP. I feel like I arrested the wrong guy. <laughs> uh, take me to the dungeon. Oh my gosh, I only have one cell. So Pietro, the crazy town, you know, the town crazy, and the mysterious merchant who sells sugar, sugar, we don't know if it's sugar, uh, are both in the same cell because I can't afford the other two, I guess. Not yet. Ugh, what a, what a pair. Alright, guard, give me the details. How can I help your grace? Oh, he doesn't want to help. I guess I have to do it. All right, PHR, what's going on? How are you doing there? Oh, your grace. Uh, it feels safer in here. Uh, I don't have to worry about anyone coming after me. I have my friend here, and no one can come inside. I wish i just asked you to imprison me straight away, your grace. I am glad you feel safer. You are right. No one is going to come here looking for you. Uh, I owe you my life, your grace. Let me give you my army. I won't need them. I'll just stay here. You have an army? Yes, I know, but I couldn't tell them what's going on. It could have been one of them. Uh, yes, of course. You can stay here as long as you like, Pietro. 
Let my guard know if you need anything. Thank you, your grace. I gained four soldiers from Pietro. Alright, so Pietro's not that bad of a guy. I like it, I like it. Uh, are you feeling any better? Um, sturdy walls, steel bars, a personal guard. Oh wait, there's nowhere to run. He's still kind of crazy. I don't, you know, he need. I think he needs some kind of medicinal help. Or maybe, you know what? Pietro could have had too much of the dust. And then I could use him as a PSA of why you don't take dust from random, you know, vendors. So Pietro and this guy being in the same cell together is actually probably two birds for one stone. Because he's acting like he's on dust, actually. <laughs> yeah, four soldiers for locking him up. That's not too bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Your Grace. I can't bear this place. Please, let me out. I didn't know Your Grace disapproves of the dust. I thought it was like any other consumable product. People get sick because of this stuff. Everyone who sells dust at Davern will be imprisoned. You'll stay here till Lord Lures arrives. Okay, so I need to go tell Lord Lures I have a drug dealer in my dungeon. Let's get on that. Uh, let's go to the throne room, write him a letter. Uh, I need to send him a pigeon. Okay, so let's see. Uh, dear Lord Lures, I have... A known dust seller in my dungeon. Uh, if you would kindly give me all your soldiers, you know, I'll continue locking people up. You know, come on by, say hello. Come back to the castle. I need those troops really bad. Let's invite them back. Lady Lena, um, this Lady Lena, I'm going to put a sign out my castle. If you see Lady Lena, shoot her. Just shoot her with an arrow because she drives me up a wall. And I can't believe the first thing out of her mouth is she wants my daughter already for marriage. Like, get out of here. 300 soldiers. Do you know how many soldiers I got for my first wedding that I, I arranged? It was like a thousand. And she offers me 300 soldiers? Like, what an insult. I'm not giving her my daughter for that. There's no way. Um, let's see. I'm not making much headway with uh, the trial, though. So I feel like I'm missing something. So I kind of want to, like explore around the castle a little bit. Let's go this way. Also, I don't know why she's sweeping. Okay, yeah, you keep sweeping. So she's kind of like the troublemaker daughter. She likes to play, like, pranks and stuff. I guess my wife will probably know what she did. Alright, what did she do? Darling? Uh, yeah, what did Asalia do? You made her sweep all the corridors in the castle? That must have been serious. Oh, Eric, she is behaving worse and worse as she grows up. She convinced one of our servants to practice sword fighting with her. Uh, that's fine. I want her to practice. She likes practicing sword fighting. Oh, gods. It didn't end well. The servant ended up with a huge cut on his cheek. Oh, well, okay, that's not good. Uh, you shouldn't have let her play with swords, Eric. I know I shouldn't have, but I feel that if I said no, she'd still do it in secret. I know, Eric. We need to pay more attention to her, especially now uh, that Luli is not here. Uh, I'm not asking her about that. My wife wants all the daughters married, like, as soon as they're, like, 12. And I'm not about that life, sorry. Uh, yeah, you stay here. I gotta go talk to her. Uh, throne room. Alright, let's see. Grace. Oh, she won't talk to me? No, okay. Let's go back to... I want to go to my evidence room. Alright. How's it going with you and the stabber? I'm not petting him again. See you later. Evidence. He said he saw someone when he was... What did he say? It was behind the gardens? These roses almost make the place smell amazing. It's very calming. Bench. He likes to sit here and knit. The paving stone looks like it, it was moved. If I could get something sharp and thin to lift it. The sword would be too thick. It needs to be something smaller. 
Can I use the tooth on it? No. Okay. Hmm. Vivid, any idea how we get the floor, move the floorboard? I mean, there's de it's definitely like a hidey hole. Like, there's got to be something in it. Maybe I could find something on the castle wall. There's a rope. Old fabric. This old piece of fabric is covering a hole in the roof. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> yeah, you think he'll work? I was hoping Stabber was kind of be like Sonic's cousin and maybe come in the battle and take a few troops out, you know, with super speed. Not sure, though. Swords. Generals and hunters sometimes come here to practice swordsmanship. Because there's, like, nothing... I've gone to, like, every area. Like, I have no leads, either, about, like, the murder. Hmm. I wonder if there's a building I'm missing. Look, I got a hole... I have a hole in the roof that I paid all this gold to get fixed, and all they did was put an old stupid blanket on top of the hole to protect my wood, which is going to get wet and r rot, and then I'm not going to be able to have a fire in the royal, you know, in the fireplace. And then we're going to catch cold and die in the winter. I mean, it's... I paid 20 gold for that. For old fabric over a hole. <sighs> I mean, zero stars on Yelp. I'm going to tell everybody that my repair guy is just not acceptable. I mean, there's a ladder here. And I mean, look, at my door's old. Like, I got to get my door fixed. Like, I don't know. Like, we need to figure out how to make some more money. You know what? Maybe I was too hasty with the whole dust thing. But I feel like, you know, if we invest in, like, actual proper businesses, maybe there's chance that we'll get some more money and actually be able to fix our kingdom. <laughs> uh, I've been at the council chambers. I've been at the castle wall. Uh, Pietro and What's-His-Face are in the dungeon. That's fine. I got lures coming to pick up What's-His-Face. My, uh, the queen said that she attacked someone with a sword when she was practicing, so that was fine. The gardens, I can't do anything. And I was at the throne room. Audrey didn't say anything. So the other thing you're supposed to be able to do with your uh, general is you go to this map. And then you see all these places around me you're supposed to be able to investigate. But I keep having to send my general, who is now, you know, taking care of Thor's tree... Um, and it takes him, like, a week to investigate. So I need to go to this Kasky place and uh, break up the, the dust ring. And then once I break up the dust ring and give over this uh, vendor to that lord, I think he'll join up with me. Um, but, like, if I click on it and I hit this investigate button, and it says it'll take one turn to complete, and then if I say no agent available, because he's already, he's in the forest... So I really need to get another general, is what I think. Because, like, there's so many places to explore, too. And I need to I need to go to these places to get, like, I need a witch. Like, I have nobody who has any medical training at all. So, let's go ahead and uh, progress the week. Or, let's see. Feathers. These pigeons always bring too much mess into the throne room. It's a plant. Corelli really convinced me to have some plants. Okay. Tavern Shield with our kingdom's emblem. It was forged by a famous blacksmith from Grevno. Swords look quite sharp, but they're a thousand years old. Does anyone have a shovel or a stick or anything to get a hole open? Doesn't look like it. Let's go to the next week. Okay, Stan's back at least. And our, uh, our army got a little bit bigger. Our happiness seems okay. I don't want to spend too much money on that. A general. Generals will be available during the battle. I'm not really using my gold for much, so it might be worth to upgrade this. Like, I want my general to be a part of the battle. And I feel like I'm going to either invest in that now or invest in that later. What do you think, Vivid? Do you think we should uh, hold out on the upgrade and see if anyone wants us to give them gold this week, or do you think we should just prepare the general for battle? It's 20 gold, though. We have 43. 
So do you think it's worth about half of our treasury to do that? Do it? Okay, let's do it. Prepare the general. Let's go. Oop, we got another pigeon. Oh, we only have two people in the throne room this week. It's a slow week. The craft will flourish. No men can stop. In the middle of the night, we shall meet. For the dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. What the shit is this? The craft will flourish. No man can stop it. Okay, so you're going to keep making dust. You don't care. You don't think I can stop it. In the middle of the night, we shall meet. So you're going to send an assassin to kill me? For the dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. What is that? The dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. Vivid, are you sending me letters again? What's going on? What is this? What is this? Are you not getting paid enough? Is this your way of saying you want a raise or something? Hmm? What is this? <laughs> I feel a little threat. I feel I feel moderately threatened right now. Uh, well, that's suspicious. Do I need to like up my guard? Like keep stand by the bedroom in case he tries to come in through a window? What the hell is this? Can you make any sense of this, Audrey? I'm afraid just as much as you, your grace. Something tells me it has to do with oracle dust. We should pass this on to either Lors or Etten. It's your call, your grace. Ooh, it's a secret message. It shows up in my inventory. Can't make much sense of it. Alright, well, look, luckily I sent Lord Lurs here, so he's here. So I can give him the secret message. Maybe he knows who's, like, you know, threatening to kill me now because I don't want to sell drugs. Uh, you have called for me, your grace. Uh, <laughs> this secret message is for you. Yeah, here, you take this message. I found this message. Ah, perfect. Uh, also, I have a guy in the dungeon. Do you want him? Uh, dust dealer, something suspicious. Dust dealer. Well done. You have imprisoned Etten's dust dealers. I'm sure this will discourage others from selling. Uh, something suspicious. Thank you for keeping me informed about this shady business. This way I can keep an eye on Etna and his dealers. Okay. Uh, okay, so it looks like he, until I send Stan to go take care of Koski, he's not going to uh, swear allegiance to me. Alrighty, you can leave. That's all for now. As you wish, Your Grace. So before I talk to my crazy-ass daughter, let's go to the map. And investigate Koski. Send Stan. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Is, is Stan still at the Thor tree? Are you kidding me? Oh. Yeah, it does. yeah that, I don't like that letter. Because uh, <laughs> I'm an old king. I know a little bit about swordplay. But I certainly don't want any assassins coming after me. Alright, so there's two things that could have happened. Either A... He's still at the Thor tree. Or B, I just forgot to pay him this week. Because sometimes I forget to pay people. So I might not have paid Stan this week. And so now I can't investigate. Which, if that's the case, I feel a little stupid. <laughs> Is it two turns? Okay. So he'll he'll be back next week. Alright, we'll take it out next week. Uh, let's send a pigeon. Uh, pigeon, pigeon. Let's see... Uh, do any of these guys sound like, uh, look like hunters to you? Like, uh, maybe Grego? Or, uh, Joven? Joven doesn't look like a hunter. N Nikezi? Hmm. Who do you think we should send a letter to, Vivid? Hmm. Who should we, who should we beseech for help? I think Nokos Noxy looks good or Grego. Feather in his hat. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go with Grego. Send him a pigeon. Alright, what do you want, my daughter? Your Grace, I come to you with a special request to turn Stabber into a prince. I need to lift his curse. I've researched more into it. I think you're the youngest one of us who can read, Sadani. Well, I made D Danica read it for me. 
I already love him as hard as I can. I squish and tickle his tummy all the time. But now I need to make him rich. Your grace, may I please request one piece of gold? I'll pay it back, I promise. A piece of gold to make the hedgehog rich? Hmm. I mean, she's my daughter. She's a little crazy. But she doesn't really get into that much trouble. She's nice to me. Doesn't really get an allowance. So I kind of just want to give her the gold. Also, if the hedgehog is really a prince and she turns him back into a person, maybe he'll give me soldiers? I don't know. I think I should give her the bunny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, well, you know, she's had, you know, she's had an interesting upbringing. She was also at a wedding where her sister's husband's dad was just straight up murdered in front of everybody and her slug was eaten as part of the meal on top of people's salads because the chef thought it was part of the food. So she's a little bit traumatized, so I, I kind of feel bad about it. Um, I'm just going to give her the gold because, you know what, if it makes her happy. <laughs> Vivid, I had no control over any of this. This all just happened. Like, I feel so bad that this happened to her. <laughs> I tried so hard to give her a good life. I'm going to give her a gold. She's had, you know, she's had a, a tough couple of weeks. I think this, this gold piece will help her. Here you go. Here, one piece of gold. Don't lose it. Thank you, Father. Your efforts will not be forgotten. I also need to find a black rooster with a saddle. What in the world is she on about? Is she, is she on? Is she taking the dust that Pietro's on? Do you know where I could find one? Oh, my pumpkin. I honestly don't know. That's fine, my king. I shall find one myself. Yeah, she's definitely crazy, that one. <laughs> I will... I will make an amendment to our, our, our tax form, and I will call it petty cash, and I'll call it, uh, that'll be the child tax. I have to keep her one gold a week so that she doesn't do anything more crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. I want to talk to see if my daughter's in the gardens, if she's uh, fighting with that uh, peasant again. Oh no, she's not fighting. Okay. Hello? Yes? Uh, oh no, uh, screw Lady Lena. We're not talking about Lady Lena. Lady Lena is dead to me. We're not talking to her. Not, I'm not doing that. Nope. Uh, council room. Books. Anything in the chest? Nothing useful in here, just a pile of rubbish. I need something to move a stone. I want to move a stone. Let's go to the dungeon. This guy's still here. All right, so he's gonna be here until I uh, until I get stand back. That way. That way. So I think if stands back, he shows up at the wall. Yeah. So stands still out. Alright, we sent a letter. We have nothing. Let's do the next week. Okay, so here he is. So he's back. So if I unclick this button, I don't pay him and he's not available, but I'm going to pay him because we have a use for him. 31, 72 grain. Our army. Our army's doing okay. It's not that great. Seven. I don't think we need to upgrade our stables yet. I can throw a carnival to make people happy, but they're pretty happy already. They're 23 happiness, so I think we'll save that in case, like, you know, some something really bad happens. Ooh, we got... Ooh, gosh. She's a lot of people here today. Whoa. And there's a wizard. It looks like there's a wizard behind there. Oh, I hope that I hope a wizard has finally come to my <laughs> come to my nation. I need I need a royal a royal mage advisor. I need someone with magic to uh, to break the curse of the hedgehog so that my daughter can have a true friend. Right. <laughs> Let's see what the pigeon says. If it's another threatening uh, message, 
I'm not accepting any more pigeon messages. I'm shutting it all down. Uh, dear Eric, I hear that I'm already too late to marry your daughter. We had some struggles, but we will be ready within 14 weeks. I believe we can explore other options, and I hope that you will keep your promise. Bayron, the king of Rodovia. So that's the son of a bitch who basically uh, attacked me in the middle of the night and forced me to uh, promise my daughter to marry him. And now he's coming to get what, what is his. We had some struggles, but we will be ready within 14 weeks. I believe we can explore other options, and I hope you will keep your promise. I'm not keeping my promise, dude. No. I'll keep my promise. I'll shoot you with an arrow myself at this point. Vivid, what should we do? Should we uh, should we burn the letter, or should we uh, should we up step up the guard? What should, what do you think we should do? My my daughter's already married. I already married my eldest daughter. I already sent her off, so he's not getting her. I'm not marrying her to some tyrant, raping and pillaging thief guy. No, 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 no. Boy, they know. They will come to get another another daughter. They're gonna come and take my other daughter seriously. Fourteen weeks. So what is that like? Three and a half months. That's too soon. We need to gather an army. We need to make alliances, and I hope Ivo will help us. Fourteen. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I just I just passed out. I just had a a, a mild attack. You're awake. You gave us all a big fright, indeed. And I did it right in front of the, in the courtroom. I did it right in front of all those people. So now everybody knows that I just passed out. Oh no. Uh, I had a strange dream. What happened? Rodovia is coming. Yeah, Rodovia is coming. Fourteen weeks. We need to make allies. Prepare for battle. Calm down. You're fretting worse than me. Everything is going to be fine. We have plenty of time to spare. The doctors say you're worrying too much. If you were younger, it wouldn't be too much of a concern, but at your age, you are more prone to the effects. You need to take care of yourself. How can I do that? We have to prepare for the battle. We have no army. Yes, uh, that we must, but you need to keep calm. Everything will be fine. Go on now, you still have work left to do. You're right, I better get on with things. You know, I'm glad my wife thinks that I'm just gonna figure this all out magically make an army appear you know fight off 10,000 freaking Rodovians like I don't know how she expects me to do this and she's just like you know you just passed out almost died get back to it I mean she's not very helpful is she I might need to get a new wife <laughs> oh let's get back to the throne room I didn't think I was gonna pass out yeah take me back to the throne room Alright, I'm gonna sit on the throne. It's all fine, guys. I just, uh, too much caffeine or something. I'm all fine. Alright, Audrey, what's going on? Your Grace, I hope you are fine. I'm feeling a little better, yes. Did anything happen while I was gone? No, everything's the same. About the letter. We need to focus on gathering as many allies as possible in the next weeks. Invite lords and see how we can make alliances with them. While we are doing that, we should also focus on the evidence items for the royal trial. Question lords and see if any of these things lead us to the killer. I don't mean to cause you stress, but we only have 14 weeks. Of course, Audrey. I agree, we shouldn't get distracted with petty matters. Let's get to it. Alright, Stan. Is the God of Thunder with us? Will we have Thor on the battlefield? Give us the details. Your Grace, I have helped the strange tree-loving people. I gathered a few of my men, and we dug a neat ditch away from the tree. The people accommodated us very nicely, and they were very grateful for our help. Okay. Uh, so, plus one for the tree people. Uh, let's go to the map. Stan, I need you to go to Koski and uh, kill all the drug dealers. Okay. I've sent him off to Koski. Confirm. Okay, Grego. This is the guy we sent a letter to, Lord Lord Grego. You have sent a pigeon for me. I have welcome. Or I have welcome to our castle. 
I presume you have heard about our upcoming battle with Rodovia. I have, of course. Can't you tell by my giant feathers sticking out of my hat that I'm important and I know everything about anything? Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I want to help. So here is my deal. I pride myself in the knowledge of art. My collection of paintings is the biggest in the kingdom. I own paintings by the most prestigious artists. Selvik van Grek, Manoski, Pisik, you get the idea. I have rec I've heard recently that you hold a very valuable painting. It would be perfect for my collection. The Stork by Selvik van Grek. I, uh... Don't say anything yet. You haven't heard the rest of my deal. I can offer you 80 well-trained men and three supplies. Wow, that painting must mean a lot to you. Of course it does. It needs to vanish from this castle. I mean, it'll look better in my gallery alongside the others. I imagine the painting is hanging somewhere, so I'll give you time to take it down. Th that is, of course, if you agree to my deal. I would like to pick it up personally. So invite me whenever you are ready. So I know exactly where the painting is that he's talking about, but do you think that painting is worth uh, 80 men, Vivid? I don't really care about the supplies. I got plenty of grain. I made sure to invest in agriculture. Hmm. I'm also looking at the guy in the back of the line. I don't... Is he carrying a bird? This this guy right here? What's this guy doing? What is that? <laughs> I don't have a metal detector. I can't like run him through to make sure it's, you know, nothing illegal. I don't know. I mean, we have 200 soldiers. 80 more. We'll be close to 300. It's basically like I'm training I'm trading the Mona Lisa for soldiers because paintings are super rare in this time. If I say I'll think about it, he'll leave. I'll have to waste another pigeon to have him come back. I'll think about it. You know what? I'll think about it. I'm not giving you my painting just yet. It's probably worth 800 soldiers and you're just trying to offer me 10% of what it's worth. That's probably what's going on. So I'm going to think about it. I quite like this painting. It does look nice in the bedroom. I'll think about your offer. Of course, take your time. Send me a pigeon whenever you're ready to talk. Hey, get out of here, Grego. You were useless. Oh, okay, so this is the... Let's see, where is it? This guy. Where is he? That guy in the far corner over there. He's uh, He came to me one time before for boots. So I gave him, I gave him a gold piece and... Uh, He's back again, so let's see what he wants this time. Your Grace! May I have your audience, please? I want to do some fishing. Like I always do, Your Grace. But as foolish as I am, I uh, fell asleep, yes? Stupid, stupid Stefan. I always have to mess everything up. Anyway, someone took my fishing rod, and now I have nothing. It is the only thing I have left after my wife died. Oh, my sweet Anna. If she saw what a mess I am, she'd put me right back into my place. It's all my fault, Your Grace. I only wanted me I only wanted me and her and the kids to have a good time. So I took everybody out on my boat, and then the storm came, and it just flipped the boat upside down. I swear I didn't know, Your Grace. When I woke up on the shore, they were all gone. So I wait every day and I fish to pass time. But now I don't even have my rod. Please, your grace, spare spare the old man. I could ask for a piece of gold, I swear. I will buy a fishing rod and nothing else. <sighs> okay, so we have an option here. We can either give him a gold. He's probably going to buy booze with it. Or we give him seven gold for food and new clothing. And he could also probably just buy more booze with that or maybe he won't but is it worth seven gold uh oh. vivid what do you think also the tree lady is back so that could be a good thing i don't know yet 
I see her in the line, so I'm like, should I save my gold for her in case she needs help? Ugh. I'm conflicted. I gave him one gold last time. Hmm. I will give you a gold piece and see what you do with it. And then if you come back again, I might give you more gold if you, like, come with a plan. Buy the new fishing rod, but don't lose it again. It'll get easier. You should try to sell some of the fish on the market. To keep your mind off things. Thank you, your grace. I am forever grateful. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I don't mind giving people one gold, you know. We have... Lady Lydia. Lydia. I have heard that Lena has made you a proposition. I must say it's good that you haven't agreed to it, Your Grace. But do not make the mistake. Do not accept her offer. This marriage cannot happen. It seems to me that you don't know of the curse that plagues Lena's family. Curse? Can the curse be lifted? Thank you for the information. Okay, so... Curse? What, what's the curse? What curse? They say that if her son does not participate in the act of marriage before his 20th spring, he will fall asleep and never wake up. Holy shit. Can it be lifted? Is there a way to lift the spell? There is. That's why Lena is desperately looking for someone to marry her son, to lift the bane. The problem is you can't completely get rid of it. If her son gets married, it is said that the spell will move on to the bride and she will die the following night Oh my god, this bitch came into my kingdom, wanted to offer me 80 soldiers to marry my middle daughter, and then when she gets married, she's going to get the curse and die? Are you kidding me? I'm about ready to declare war with Lady Lena. I knew she was an asshole. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I'm... All right, we might be going to war here with another nation <laughs> in top on top of Rodovi. Like we don't have enough problems, but I'm going after Lady Lena. <laughs> Are you willing to ri to uh, to risk this? Uh, thank you for the information. No way in hell. Thank you for the warning. You're most welcome. I would strongly reconsider Azalea's marriage arrangement, though. I will consider your advice. Be sure. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let her marry him, anyways. All right, Lady of the Forest, Lady of the Trees, Speaker of Thor, can you get me some tree soldiers, please? Your Grace, I have come to tell you the water from the oak has cleared. Our people haven't prayed for or confessed in weeks. Oh, they are so happy now. I brought you something small as a gift. It's a, a bouquet made of the oak's fallen leaves. I saved them from last year. I will. Br it will bring love and luck to your throne room. Well, thank you, I think. I uh, Well, thank you, I think. I hope it really does. I'll just leave it by the window. Oh, nice. So we got a little, uh, an oak, bo uh, an oak bouquet. This oak bouquet is supposed to bring me luck. I mean... Maybe it's Groot. Maybe it comes alive and kills one of the assassins that are supposedly coming for me. You never know. It's from the magic tree, you know. Never know. I like that. You know, I feel I feel better having it in in the throne room. I feel like, you know, it's doing. It, it looks nice. It's a nice color. You know, who knows? All right, merchant. What are you trying to sell me? Your grace. I bring you a special thing of magical splendor. It is only worthy of a royal. No one else deserves this magnificent being. Your grace, I present to you my magical cock. Woof. Okay. Oh, this is the, uh, the black chicken, right? This is the thing my daughter wants, right? Didn't she say she wanted a black chicken with a saddle? Don't let your eyes fool you. This ain't a regular cock, your grace. This cock has been enchanted. 
It can't tell a lie, or it can tell a lie from the truth, your grace. Well, that's interesting. And when it senses it, it senses a lie, it will voice its disapproval. I believe it would be a real asset to your throne room. It will help you lead better than any advisor. See, I'm not a liar. The cock stayed quiet. How can I be sure this thing works? Try it yourself, your grace. Tell a lie or truth. Uh, my name is Audrey the Fourth. I am Audrey the Fourth, and it's my real birth name. Hey, hey, that chicken. Uh, hey, that chicken seems pretty good. See, I wasn't lying, your grace. So, how much do you want for this thing? It better be like five gold. Only eight, 18 gold. 18 gold for a black chicken. This is a very good price for a lie detector. Hmm. What do you think, Vivid? Is this magic cock worth it? What do you think? <laughs> hmm. I mean, I'm tempted to get it because my daughter wanted a black chicken. But I'm also worried that she might do something crazy to the black chicken, and I'm going to spend all this gold on it. But, like, the trial's coming up, I have a lot of advisors coming in, I need to know if people are lying. Uh. How about we, how about we offer him 16 gold and see if he'll accept that? What do you think? You think that would work? I think that's fair. God, that is a lot of money for a chicken, though. Hmm. I'm going to try and offer him 16, see what he says. I don't know if this thing will work, but my daughter would be quite happy with it. Also true, I was thinking about that too. Fine, your grace, just make sure she doesn't lose it. Let me just set it all up. All set. Take care, your grace. I got an achievement, a fine saddle for a hedgehog. Sidani's going to love this. I should go and find her later. Oh my god. I got an achievement for buying the magic chicken. I mean, you can't tell me that it doesn't look so good just sitting there, like, off off to the side of the throne room. Like, it looks like a royal chicken. I like it. I, I'm, I'm not too angry with this purchase. <laughs> Alright, let's go tell my daughter we have a magic chicken. See what she says. It's in the council room. All right, Sidani, guess what? Your Grace. Uh, come and see me in the throne room. I have something to show you. You're going to love it. Just let me finish feeding Stabber, Father. I'll come later. Fine, Pumpkin. I'll wait for you in the throne room. She's going to be so excited. She's going to love me. Let's go to the throne room. Let's in the throne room. Brings a lot of wildlife to the area. I enjoy the sides of birds chirping away each morning. Can I pet my magical rooster? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, it doesn't look like she's here yet, so let's go talk to my other daughter. Stay safe. My bed chamber. So this is the painting that the uh, guy wanted, the stork painting. Let's see, I think it was like a wedding, a wedding present or a wedding gift. Uh, we get a lot of storks here in Daver, and they are very graceful birds. I'm gonna leave it for right now. The fireplace is full of ash. It's quite cozy here in the evenings, though. Later. Later. Alright, Vivid, so I think we need to, and we still haven't invited a lord that is, or someone who's a hunter, because I haven't been able to ask anyone about this tooth. So let's see. Sometimes lords are busy, and you won't be able to invite them to your throne room. This will be shown with a red arrow next to the lord's profile. 
So it looks like... Or who's busy? Where's the busy? Light him. Kowski. Uh, who do you think? Probably Nico. Nico. Noxi has 180 troops. Via has 150. Masha has 130. Lena can stay the hell away. Jovin is 120. Hmm. This guy looks like he could be a hunter. Maybe Nikoski? Send him an invite. Fourteen gold, plenty of grain, two hundred soldiers, magic chicken. Oh. Okay, stand still out in the drug dealers. I'm waiting for my Can you meet me in the throne room, please? I have to show you. Okay. I don't want to advance the week if she's not gonna... Or maybe she comes next week to look at it. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, let's advance the week. Alright, Stan's back. He wants nine gold. Um... I have a lot of grain. Do you think I should do the uh, the carnival just to get five contentment? I can only do it once, but I feel like I have tons of grain, so it might be nice to get our uh, happiness almost to 30. We'd be at 28. I can also upgrade the stables for 25 gold, but that's a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money coming in. I have to keep paying Stan nine gold. Oh, and my army's up to six grain now to keep my army fed. We still have 14 weeks until uh, Rodovia comes, so I think I'm going to wait because I still have some places to explore before I upgrade the map. Now, don't anybody try to lie to me because I've got a magic chicken and anyone who lies to me, I'm going to throw in the dungeon. Alright, what's up, Audrey? I know we have some very pressing issues now, but... Considering last week's incident, perhaps we should think about securing an heir, your grace. Years are passing by, and none of us are getting any younger. If you don't have a rightful heir, Ivo, or Ivo will be next in line. He's not a bad person, but it's likely Davern would just become a part of Atana. Ivo's not a bad choice. We're working on it. Oh my god. So I, ha I have three daughters, and because it's like the olden times, they won't let a woman rule. So now they're telling me that I need to get on it and try to uh, make a make a, a male heir, so that when I pass away, that there's someone who can rule. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I mean, I don't think I'm that old, but you know, I could just have another daughter. I don't, you know, it's not like I have a choice in the matter. Uh, I'll work on it, and if uh, nothing happens, then it'll go to Ivo, I guess. Uh, rest assured, Aurelia and I are working on an heir. At this age, it's not uh, as he's so easy anymore. Of course, three daughters is already plenty, Your Grace. Let me worry about this once we have dealt with Rodovia. Gosh. Alright, Stan. Tell me, have you gotten all the drug dealers? Your Grace. The situation got pretty hot. It wasn't possible to avoid bloodshed. Nevertheless, we have secured Lord Etten's dustwares. Okay, so I have to send him a letter. Uh, Dragon Slayer. The, the Dragon Slayer has come to my castle, the Dovahkiin. Your Grace, it is I. Noxie, the Dragon Slayer, bowing low before you. Also known as Grafos the Great. Juanos the Wise. Eater the Powerful. The Royal Wedding was fantastic. Well... Until, you know, the food was first class. But amongst all the other pleasures, I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. Uh, who are you? I didn't quite catch that. Who are you again? But have you never heard of me? It is I, Nokski the Dragon Slayer. 
I killed the dragon in the eastern forests. Would you like to hear about my fierce battle with the foul worm, your grace? Uh, sure. I'm all ears. The beast was fast. Its sharp claws would tear human skin with absurd ease. I stole into, into its home forest with great care and planned a path to its defeat. The dragon's nest was at the very top of the mighty oak tree overlooking a rushing river. Clever as I am, I noticed that the nest was full of hatchlings. Mucky little dragon puppies. I chopped down the tree while the big one wasn't there. The great oak croaked, groaned, and fell straight into the furious river underneath, taking the dragon's young with it. The squeak of the little dragons car carried far, and so the big beast herself appeared. Desperately trying to save her babies from the brutal current, she kept crashing into one boulder after the other. At last, she dragged her battered body onto the shore, but the weakened creature was no match for my mighty arm, and the beast was no more. After all, wit and brains come before strength and fists. Remember that, kids. I mean, your grace. Impressive, isn't it? After that, uh, after that and other adventures, of course, I traveled to Davern seeking further challenges. So I have come straight to the king. Now tell me, your grace. What evil creatures awaits me here, uh, staining your beautiful land? Alright, so the good news is, the chicken did not caca at all when he told me that whole story. So that means that this guy is actually a famous dragon, uh, dragon killer. So, he could definitely be useful. I mean, I right now I don't have any dragons attacking the nation. But maybe I could use him against Rodovia or, you know, send him out. Maybe make him a general. It'd be nice if he could make him a general. Let's see. Uh, there's a monster. Go tell your stories elsewhere. Uh, we have no creatures that need slaying. I haven't noticed any monsters. Oh, I'm sure there's something. Everywhere, or everywhere has its own dragon. Its own Kikamore, Leshen, or Wyvern. Just say what it is and consider it gone. Well, there is Rodovia. Rodovia? Well, I've never heard of such a creature. So what is it? What does it do? A gas? Crush men's bone under its heavy hoofs? Breathe fire? Uh, everything at once. Uh, it's an army. An army from behind the tall mountains. They aim to claim Davern as their own. And an army? I see. Well, that is a hell of a challenge. I can help, though. They call me Grofos the Great for a reason. Over the years of my adventure, adventurous career, I have met a lot of people even more owe me their lives. I will give you all I can. Soldiers, supplies, I will stand at your side in battle. Okay, that sounds good. I reckon I can gather 180 men. And five supplies will also come in handy, I'm sure. And in return, I ask for... Oh, absolutely nothing at all. I'm a noble, upstanding knight. I live to serve, help, and, well, be famous. Nokski aiding the king of Davern in a real battle? They will write fine songs about this. Oh my god. Okay, well, this guy, where has this guy been all my life? He just walks in out of the blue, says he's a famous dragon, you know, killer, can give me 180 men, and he's not lying because my magic chicken didn't, uh, didn't caw. And now he's going to help me fight in the battle. So maybe he knows something about this tooth. Because uh, he's fought a bunch of stuff. He'll probably know what this tooth is too. Uh, it looks like an animal tooth. Would you know anything about it? That is an impressive tooth. It must have been one hell of a beast. Do you know where such a tooth could come from? Oh, I wish I could tell you a heroic story about defeating such an imposing beast, your grace. Sadly, I can't because this tooth is not one from my collection. I don't think so, anyways. I wish it was, though. Can I buy it off you? Absolutely not, Nokski. I need this tooth to prove my innocence to King Ivo. Maybe after the royal trial. That's all. That will be all for now. As you please, your grace. All in all, that guy was pretty good. I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, oh, let's see, what does the merchant want? Your grace, I come from the tavern. The business was going so well, but lately I've had some troubles, and it's all getting out of hand. The tavern became a great place for everyone to gather and have a good time. But some local panders saw an opportunity to use this place to find customers. 
At first it was fine, just some girls looking around every now and then. Now the tavern is turned into a brothel. People are only visiting for the girls. Although my sales have gone through the roof, I've got to say, it attracts customers, but the panders essentially took over my tavern. And they caused all sorts of trouble, as you can imagine, Your Grace. Almost every week I have to deal with these disrespectful, violent men. I'm scared they will soon take over the tavern completely and leave me with nothing. On the other hand, if I kick them out, they will just relocate to another pub. I'll lose all my customers and will have to close down. You should kick the panderers out. You should be happy with the extra money. I'm sorry I can't help. Come back another time. So this guy, we invested... Uh, we invested some startup funds uh, into his business to have a, to have a, an inn, and then it went well, and now his tavern has turned into a brothel. I mean, you should be happy with the extra money, and then if you have extra money, why don't you hire some guards or security to keep the crazy men from doing stuff? Like, that's what I would do. I don't think you have to kick them out. Like you said, they'll go to just another tavern and, you know, do the same thing. So, be happy with the extra money and use it to keep your business uh, running smoothly. If you throw these people out, you'll risk having to close down your tavern. You should try to work with them so you can both profit. That's a good point, Your Grace. But those men are horrible. They really don't treat the women very well. I don't want to support them unless there's a way I can control the situation. Why don't you hire your own guards? Exactly what I just said. Why don't you hire your own guards with all the money you have? I could, Your Grace, but they are very expensive. My sales did go up, but not nearly enough to cover full-time guards. 28 gold is all I can give you. I can't... I, I, Jesus Christ, I can't give you 28 more gold. I can't give you any more gold. Our kingdom's budget is very tight at the moment. Uh, then what do I do, Your Grace? I can't help right now. Uh, come back another time when I have more money. Uh, I want to help, but my resources are limited at the moment. That's fine, Your Grace. I will come back in two weeks' time. Alright, so I'm going to try and save 28 gold so he can buy guards to uh, protect the girls. Alright, let's touch my rooster. Okay, he's doing good. Alright, peasant, what's up? Your, gr or your grace, our village was on fire last time, and you helped us. Oh, nice, they came back. Uh, the general arrived just in time. The chapel started to catch fire, but we managed to save it. I just wanted to bring the greatest blessing, the greatest of blessings to you, your grace. We are forever in your debt. Oh my god. Chicken just caught him. He just lied. So something's going on with him. He just lied. He doesn't think too highly of me. I'm happy to hear this. I hope the rest of the village is restored soon. We're working on it, Your Grace. Thank you again. Okay, so he was lying. So I guess I didn't do the right thing by sending my general. I should have just gave him the grain, I guess, or the gold daughter wants. Father, I was wondering if we could practice sword fighting again. Perhaps later in the gardens? You said we could do this again, Father. Very well. I better... I had better keep to my promise, then. Go on. You can warm up without me. I will catch up with you in just a bit. Great. I will see you in the gardens. Off she goes. I had better check up on her. Alright. My daughter's gonna love me right now. I got this magical chicken. A rooster? <laughs> He's black. Oh gosh. You are the bestest father in the world. <laughs> oh my god. She just lied to me. She said I was the best father in the world and the chicken just cacawed. Oh boy, you are so beautiful. The stabber's going to adore you. Thank you, Your Grace. Take good care of him, Pumpkin. I love you, Father. Okay, well, there goes my magic chicken. Oh, bless her. Let's see. I actually want to see the entry for that. Uh, where is it? Uh, Sadani. Smudge is harmless, and at least it keeps her busy. The king thinks he... Her love for the animal is adorable and has let her keep it. Sadani was quite upset after someone tried to eat her pet snail... King promised her that eventually she'll be able to seal Ursulia. The 
attack the skunk. Influenced by her sister, finds another pet. The king was unsure whether letting her keep the hedgehog was a good idea. To turn the hedgehog into a prince, Sidani asked the king for one piece of gold. The king agreed to give her the gold she needed. Sidani also asked where she could find a black rooster. After hearing Sidani ask about a black rooster, the king took the opportunity to buy one from a merchant and gifted it to his daughter. Okay. Let's see. Go practice sword fighting. Oh, nice. So this is the person that she was um, sword fighting with before. Yes, father? Who's this? I see you already found someone to practice with. Well, I'm not going to wait for you all day, am I? I haven't seen you before. Who are you? This is Maya. Remember when I sneaked out uh, to the wedding party? The one you were not supposed to go to? Well, yes. Anyway, that's when I met Maya. We had fun at the wedding. I thought it would be nice if she came to visit. Your Grace. See? I can never get her. Uh, you're good with the sword. Who taught you to fight like this, Maya? Uh, my father is a swordsman. He showed me a few tricks. And he lets you play with swords? Maya says you need to be ready when the enemy strikes. And you never know when they will strike. Ah. That's what my father says. Uh, your accent. I can't quite place your accent. You're not from here, are you? Um, my parents are from Baravia. We're passing by and stopped in the capital for a couple of weeks. That's awfully far from here. Where are your parents now? Uh, they have business in the market. They let me venture around. Yes, they're traveling merchants, sort of. Maya was showing me some fancy sword tricks she learned on their journeys. Interesting, a tradesman who knows how to fight. I would love to meet your parents one day. Tell them they have my invitation. Thank you, Your Grace. I will pass on the invitation. They'll surely be happy to visit. My pleasure. Um, ask about Sidani. Looking at you two, I think I know why Sidani wants to stab people. Is there any chance that you talked her into it? Oh, so you've heard about the stabber? Don't look at me. Sidani came up with the name. Sidani really wanted to practice with us, but to talk her out of it, we had to come up with something else she could do. You should be happy she's not running around with a real sword, father. Alright, I'll leave you to your sword training. Uh, don't cut yourselves. I'll leave you to it. Just don't come screaming if you cut your fingers off. Thank you, father. We won't. Let's go to the council chamber. Okay, so she's got my magic chicken. Your Grace? Uh, how is your mission? Did you turn Stabber into a prince yet? No, not yet, Your Grace. He loves his rooster, I think. Although he doesn't really want to ride it. I think I might... Or I think, I think I need to make Stabber help me in some way, so I owe him a promise. I know what I can do. Send him on a mission. Just don't do anything silly, Pumpkin. And don't hurt yourself. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> so I definitely need to get my magical chicken back by the time of the trial. Because the chicken will let me know who's lying uh, when people try to uh, give evidence and stuff. I need to go back to the throne room. Let's check our... Allies, we need to get Lurs, because we just did all of his stuff, so he'll swear allegiance to me. So get Lurs over here. And I need to check the map. Kasano, Walomi, or Lubba? Let's go to Kasano. Stan, go there. And let's progress the week. Okay. Army upkeep. Five. Okay, so he gave us five grain. Nine, so we're at 80 there. Taxes, so I have 32 gold. I have one more week till uh, the innkeeper comes back where he needs troops, so I need to save for that. Don't need the carnival. I'm at 404 soldiers. Okay. Oop, 
We have a pigeon. Dear King of Davern, the western woods near Branca are not uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick, yours sincerely. The western woods near Branca are not uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick, yours sincerely. Unmarked. This letter has no seal. What do you think of this, Audrey? Whoever sent this letter must have gone to great lengths to pay a scribe to write it. This must be important. We'd better send a general to those woods to see what the matter is. I had marked this location on the map for you, Your Grace. Okay, I'm definitely going to send Stan there. Stan, what's up? Your Grace, I ran into a small bandit camp. They were keeping a merchant captive. I had helped him out, and in return, he gave me this gold. Nice! Got 11 gold from that. Oh, there's Lors. Uh, you have called for me, Your Grace. Uh, I've done your tasks. I have done you as you asked. Wonderful. We have stopped the growth of Etten's business. Oracle dust will still be about, but we definitely help reduce its spread. Unfortunately, there's a small problem in the way. With Etten not buying my spices, others have turned their backs on me as well. I can hardly make a coin now. That's why... I had to start trading with Rodovians? Uh, not acceptable. You should not be trading with the enemy. Yeah, are you mad? That's supporting our enemy. We're going to war with them. I suppose so, but they're helping us too. I'm sure that's not an easy decision for them either. Your Grace, the bottom line is I need gold, otherwise I won't be able to sustain my armies. The only other option I see is if you bought the spices from me. I will need uh, monthly installments, though. I need to keep my business running, or else I just wrap it all up. If you don't like any of those options, then I suppose we need to part ways. I will buy the spices from you for three gold a week. Fine, keep selling Rodovians, you're good. Parting ways it is. Hmm. I mean, three gold a week doesn't seem too bad. And then it'll stop him from selling from the Rodovians, and then I've done everything else, so I'll get his troops. Yeah, I'll buy his spices. I'll buy the spices from you. Uh, but you have to cut the Rodovians off from their supplies. This will hopefully lower their morale. Ah, uh, very well. I will set up all the necessary trade routes. That's all for now. Alright, we got his 200 soldiers. Nice. As you wish, Your Grace. What's up, Audrey? This alliance gives us many benefits, Your Grace. We should expect an increase to our income at the end of the week. Hey, I like that. Always good to have my income increase. Oop, uh, Lady Ada's back. Your Grace, it is nice to see you again. I bring you some news. I heard you were selling some paintings to Lord Vesemary. Uh, he was bragging about doing some deal with you. Yes, he visited me. I am not sure what your stance on this is, but I just wanted to let you know, Lord Vesemary is no art collector. He's an artist and an egomaniac. He buys these beautiful artworks and burns them. It is a great shame because they are very valuable. And these artists definitely deserve recognition. And he believes only his artwork is true art. I suppose just bear in mind that if you give him a painting, it'll be burned. Of course, thank you for letting me know. I must talk to him about it. Wow. Well, that guy just sounds completely psycho. Come forward, peasant. Your Grace, I wanted to see you about my missing potatoes. Someone must have stolen them, and I think I know who it was. But they say only one request per visit, and it seems like I have a much bigger problem now. I come from afar, and by the time I arrived, I was very tired. I wanted to get some rest, and I sat on one of the fine chairs in the hall. I know I shouldn't have, but the gods have punished me already. I have sat down on some on some living pincushion, it would seem. Oh my god, he sat on the hedgehog. It squeaked, and I jumped up right away. When I stood up, my bottom was all covered in spikes. And not only that, but I feel very ill, weak even. I fear the chair creature has poisoned me. What can I do? The stabber. The stabber? 
Oh no, it sounds very serious. I'm not sure what we can do here. I think I might have something that will help. My name's Elena, your grace. I know about brewing potions. I can help with magical anomalies, diseases. I dabble in wound healing also. A witch? I, some may call me that, although I prefer to see myself just as a well-read woman. At your service. We could definitely use someone like this to help our, out our people, your grace. They would be a great addition to our roster of agents. Uh, can you help this man? Very well then, can you help this man? Yes, I think I can help this poor soul. Come, I will make you an ointment to help with the swelling. Perfect, another agent joins our ranks. It's my honor, your grace. I will also be able to help during the battle, if you need me. Thank you, Elena. Sidani won't be happy about the stabber. I'd better let her know. I'll see if you have any useful books in the council chamber, your grace. You'll be able to see the expenses for the witch in the weekly summary. Okay, well, we got a witch. I've been looking for a witch to kind of uh, keep on my council anyway, so I'm, g I'm glad for that. Uh, we can just pay her whenever we need her. That's great. It's time for magic. I got an achievement for that, for getting a witch on my side. Very nice. I definitely, you know, between having Thor and the magical thunder tree and helping nature, and then now I have a witch, like, I'm definitely very pro-magic. Let's just, as much magic as we can in the kingdom, let's do it. And I also have a magic rooster. <laughs> let's see, what do you want, peasant? Your grace, Pendel, our village has been raided. They were men dressed in red and black with a beast head pierced by a spear on their banner. That's a Rodovian army for certain, your grace. This means they are getting closer to us, or perhaps they're just teasing us. Teasing? People being killed, maimed, and enslaved is just teasing. Your grace, it didn't look like an entire battalion. It must have been just a small squad. Send us your men, we can fight back. You're clearly emotional, but we have to look at the bigger picture here. If we fight them off, they will certainly get angry and fight back with more force. We don't want to start the battle early. And tolerating their attacks may encourage them to carry out more. Your grace, you have to do something about this. We can't just let them trample our lands. General is needed here. Audrey is right. I can aid your village with supplies. Yeah, I can aid your village with supplies. If I send supplies your way, at least the rest of you who have survived can move out of the village. Come closer to the castle. These are difficult times. You need to stay out of sight. Don't go outside after dark and have someone patrolling the area at all times. Is that all, Your Grace? We're just told to let them do whatever they want and run away from them. That's nonsense. It's for the best, believe me. Fine, Your Grace. We will relocate as close to the castle as possible. I mean, it was the best I could do. Like, I, I don't want to give my... I only have one general. And I already need to send him to investigate that letter that I have. So, like, I couldn't send him this week and also investigate. So, having them be able to relocate seems like the best plan for right now. Uh, who's this guy? Mercenary. Your Grace, we hear of the upcoming battle. That's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and an opportunity for you to get some help. We're mercenaries, 22 skilled men at your disposal for only 16 gold. What do you say? 16 gold. 328. That guy's coming next week that I have to pay for guards. I mean, I have 604 troops, like, I don't feel like I'm hurting too bad for soldiers. I'm going to let this guy go. Not, not right now. I'm not interested in your offer. Fine, we'll be back in two weeks. Maybe you will change your mind by then or get our gold ready. Okay. Let's go to the map. Ooh, so we have to send him to the hidden hut. Uh, oh, shoot. So I could have sent the witch to investigate. Mm. Well, a hidden hut seems like something a witch should investigate. Like, there could be magic, and the, the letter was very mysterious, so I think I'm going to send the witch here. Okay, witch is sent. Confirm. And then for Lubba, let's send our general out. I paid for him this week. I want to get some use out of it. Go 
our allies. Oakski, Vivala, let's Masha. Let's see what this lady wants. Violet. Or Violet, sorry. Violet. Let's see what she wants. Let's send her a pigeon. Okay. And let's go check on my daughter because her porcupine got sat on. Hello. Your Grace? I bring news about your hedgehog. Sadani, your hedgehog passed away. Oh god, it died? The stabber! Oh no, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have sent him out on the mission. I knew he wasn't ready. Tell me. Did he complete his mission at least? His final quest? Uh, you can't send hedgehogs on missions. Please don't do this again. Mission? What mission, Sadani? Did you send a hedgehog on a mission? Yes, an undercover mission. He was meant to scout the area, retrieve information, and return to me. This way, if he helped me, I would owe him a promise, like in the story, Father. Uh, you can't send... They can hardly follow any instructions. That's why they're good. No one suspects a hedgehog. How else was he supposed to help me? Uh, don't do this again. Please don't send any more, hedge uh, any more hedgehogs on missions. The last one stabbed a peasant and it had to deal with it. And I had to deal with it. But I was so close to turning him into a prince. Now Lorsulia will never come back. Well, I suppose you're right. Forgive me, Your Grace. Nothing is as elegant and as fearless as a cat, as Dusty. Next time I will find a fiercer agent. I will train him. He will be at my command. The stabber's efforts were not in vain. Oh, Sidani, my pumpkin. Oh my god, Sidani just sounds like she's going completely crazy. My goodness. go to dungeon Let's see how uh, Pietro's doing are you feeling any better yeah he still wants to be in prison just looking around is there anything over here wine barrels barrels are empty they used to store our wine Nothing up here. All right, so what I think I want to do is uh, one more week, and then I'll save. I'll save us there because I want to see what was in that hidden hut and also give the gold to the tavern guy so he can afford some guards. Little chambers, bed chambers. Do you have anything to say? Nope. Oh, okay. Let's advance the week. Okay, what's our army at? Seems pretty good. Pretty solid. Oh, okay, so I can pay 20 grain to prepare the witch for battle. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do that because I have tons of grain. It's costing me 18 grain to stay with my upkeep, but let's prepare the witch. Definitely want to have the witch ready for battle. So to have her available for this week, it takes 11 gold, and then Stan is 9. Let's see what's my income at. Make 12 in taxes, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16. Yeah, let's pay for both of them to be available this week and uh, save and continue. And I set the grain aside, so hopefully I'll have some magic for the battle. Alright, so I'm going to finish. Let's finish this week, and then once I'm done with this, I'll uh, we'll save and quit. Alright, so go ahead and talk to Stan. Your Grace. A nearby river has dried up. The residents have been carrying water to their homes from a lake for days. I helped them with my horse and now they have extra water saved for a few days. I made sure they know it was thanks to the king. Okay, so that raised our happiness, so that's good. Elena, my witch, tell me what's going on. What did you find? Your grace, the wooden hut in the forest appeared to be some sort of kitchen for preparing spices. It was abandoned. We search the place and find this vi uh, this vial hidden under the flooring. 
Did you find anything else? No, Your Grace. The place was empty apart from lots of dried rosemary. Thank you. A vial. Some kind of vial. There seems to be a substance inside. If this is what poisoned Talus, I'd better leave it be. Huh. So maybe the hut is where the poison was prepared, and now I have a vial, so... Maybe she knows what's inside of it, or I can try to investigate to figure out what it what it is. She said there was tons of rosemary nearby, so maybe the poison is made with rosemary? Uh, who is this? Uh, there's, yep, I did that. Uh, who's this? Uh, oh, Violet. Yep, Lady Violet. Your Grace. I hear y'all. Uh, I hear y'all are fight with the beast face. We are preparing for the battle with Radovia. You heard well. The name's Violet. My elders have fought with the beast many years before me. I heard they brought some Radovian dog here to your castle. Shame you had dispatched of him. I was hoping I could deal with him myself, but one will not cry over a dead cat. I want to reward you for your brave uh, for your bravely actions. I will give you all that I can to aid you in the battle with the beast faced. Three gold and 150 army, of course. Remember, Radovia is nothing we, uh, nothing but reek from the buttocks, and we don't want that round, do we? One more thing, Your Grace. Uh, my deal is off the table if you ever help any of those dogs. Make no mistake about that, Your Grace. It's pretty good. I like her. Uh, I have this animal too. Do you know anything about it? I have found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? Ooh, that's one bit of a tooth. This is beautiful. It's all I can tell you, Your Grace. I'm sorry, I'm not more help. You know anything about this vial? I have found this near Bronca. Can you tell me anything about it? I ain't ever been to Bronker. It looks pretty na uh, nasty, though. Okay, that's all. That will be all for now. I, your grace. Oh, the merchant's back, so I have his gold, so that's good. Uh, your grace, I have come from the tavern. Like I said before, people are only visiting for the girls. Although my sales have gone through the roof, I've got to say, it attracts customers, but the panders essentially took over my tavern, and they cause all sorts of trouble, as you can imagine, Your Grace. Almost every week I have to deal with these violent men. I am scared they will soon take over the tavern completely and leave me with nothing. On the other hand, if I kick them out, they will just relocate to another pub. I'll lose my customers and have to close down. Alright, so let's say... You should be fine with the extra money. Uh, you should try to work with them so you can both profit. I don't want to support them unless I can control it. Let's hire some guards. Grace, but they are expensive. My sales did go up, but not enough to cover full-time guards. Here is the gold. Take this gold and hire the guards. You shouldn't give up your tavern so easily. Yes, Your Grace, I'll make sure there is no more violence in my tavern. I'll be able to just throw anyone out who makes trouble. Okay. That seems better. Oh, hello, lady from the tree. How fares how fares the tree people? Tell me of the tell me of the tree people. Your Grace, we we don't know how this happened. The creature, the the witch from the forest, she escaped. Your Grace, someone opened her doors. Idiot! Some fool was brave enough to seek the eternal wisdom. We all knew the eternal wisdom is just a hoax. We knew she's nothing but an old hag. But some young boy, he fell for the tale, and now. Uh, Babushka is out of the woods. Babushka? Who's Babushka? Babushka? Your grace, you don't know Babushka? She's, well, a witch, an old hag, older than anyone knows. She's been around forever. She is short and crooked. Her bony legs barely support layers of her old, wrinkly skin. She has long, a uh, long, hook nose. Her nostril hairs are so long they hang down to her breasts. She wears a snakeskin coat and a scarf around her head, with tiny bones attached carefully to each strand. And she walks, the bones clatter against one another, clickety-de-clack, clickety-de-clack. She lives in the woods, although no one has seen her for many years. The legend has it that she used to lure children into the forest to eat them. But some legends also say she gives eternal wisdom to whom is brave enough to look her in the eyes. What can I do about this? What can I do about this? I'm not sure, Your Grace. In the village, she, tr she transcribed these words on our doors. Turn your back to the forest, your front to me. She also leaves old chicken legs on our doorstep. We're afraid she's going to come for our children. 
Every night someone hears the clicking. She might be preparing a spell of some kind. Um, I can send a general on the watch. There isn't much I can do. Take this gold and hire someone. Yeah, I'll send a, a general for sure. I would want to, I actually want to send my witch though, but I'll send the general. Uh, my general can spend a couple of nights guarding your village. Maybe he can find her. Thank you uh, very much, Your Grace. I hope your general is brave enough to face her. Okay, we got some happiness for that. A peasant? Your Grace, more and more people gather to pray. We can't fit everyone in a barn no more. We wanted to build a new shrine, but we need some help inviting holy spirits to the place. We'll be in the f uh, we will be in the favor of the gods. The fiends will be uh, the fields will be more fertile. The monsters will be kept at bay, and the evil spirits will avoid our village. If you can aid us with the court witch and some gold to pay for the materials, people will be forever grateful. Um, I'll give you whatever you need. Here's some gold. I I mean, I can send the witch. Uh, she'll be able to help bring positive spirits to the shrine. May the gods be with you. Thank you, Your Grace. May the gods look kindly upon thee. Okay, not too bad. Got a lot of happiness in the village, or in the nation at least. Alright, let's go investigate. Gardens, council chambers. Go to the council chambers. Grace. Let's see if I can investigate this vial. Uh, Audrey said I can review evidence. Let's see. Okay, so I got another piece of evidence. I need to seek an expert. So I probably need to talk to my witch once I don't send her away and question suspects. Okay. Go to bedchamber. Darling. I have a lead on the investigation. I have found some clues that might lead us to the person who's behind Talus's death. What have you found? A vial. A letter arrived suggesting something suspicious happening near Branca. I had a general explore the location and he found this vial. The substance inside could be what poisoned Talus. Its ingredients could lead us to the killer. Perhaps take this vial to a court witch. See what she can tell us about it. Yeah, I figured that. I have to talk to the witch. I think I've seen her in the council chamber. Okay. So I need to talk to her before I send her away next week. Okay, see you later. Let's see how my middle daughter's doing. Yes, father. Stay safe. Thank you for letting me visit, Your Grace. All right. Well, I think that's a, a good part to uh, a good place to stop. I'm going to go ahead and uh, advance the week and then I'll save and exit. So we have a court witch. We have Stan on our side. I've prepared Stan and the witch to be ready for battle. So that's good. Uh, our army's looking pretty good. We have over 700 soldiers now. It looks like we're trying to get to a thousand before the battle comes. And we still have quite a few weeks before they arrive. Um, I sent the witch into the woods after getting that mysterious letter, and we found a vial that was found in a room with tons of rosemary. So I definitely think that that's like a clue as to like the poison that killed the king at the wedding. So I want to keep investigating that. So once my witch returns from setting up that shrine for the priest, I'm going to uh, talk to her and see if she can identify the substance. Um, I sent Stan to the tribal people that we help that have the god tree. So I'm hoping that he can protect them or figure out who the hell this witch is that's harassing them because I don't want anything to happen to them. And then other than that, I think we've been managing our our uh, resources pretty well. Uh, it's starting to take a lot of grain to like upkeep my army. Uh, so I, I kind of want... It, it seems like you want to get your army max like right before the battle because if I just keep building my army and army... It's going to take more grain than I can afford to, you know, maintain. 
and I might have to like use the banker or some other way to come up with more resources to like keep the army because if I don't feed the army every week I lose troops and if I lose too many troops I might lose this upcoming battle uh, and I'm also trying to figure out who murdered the other king because if I do that at the royal trial uh, my daughter's husband who's uh, a king now uh, he will re-swear allegiance to me and give me another thousand troops, which will be really nice. And then we'll definitely have enough to repel repel the uh, invading forces. So uh, the story seems really good. Um, I like the uh, how the lords and like all the little story pieces that comes in. I like that I have my witch now. I like that I didn't set up an arranged marriage for my second daughter because we found out that... Uh, Lady Ada, or, or it wasn't Lady Ada, Lady Edna, the uh, the older lady, her son was cursed and she was trying to get one over on me, so he would marry her and then pass the curse on to my daughter and then she would die so he wouldn't have to deal with the curse. So, uh, all in all though, I'm having tons of fun playing this game and uh, I'm really enjoying it, so uh, for everyone who stopped by and watched the stream, uh, I greatly appreciate it. For everyone who catches it later, I appreciate you as well. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am because I'm just having a ton of fun playing it. I hope you guys have an awesome Thursday and a good rest of your week. And I will definitely catch you in the next thing that I'm streaming. So I will see you guys soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.